I'm Andrew Kaufman, and this is History in Five, and I'm going to tell you five things about Tolstoy and War and Peace that you probably didn't know. So War and Peace almost never happened. Tolstoy had actually settled down on his estate uh, when he was in his early 30s, got married in 1862, and he wanted to raise a family and live at Yasne Playana. He had abandoned writing altogether. In fact, he started a school for peasant children on his estate. He thought his calling in life was to become a teacher. Uh, and he had no intention of writing the great Russian novel. But one of his peasant students so impressed him with his writing skill, with the rawness and the authenticity of his writing, that Tolstoy was re-inspired to try his hand at fiction again having been inspired by one of his own peasant students. So that's one of the inspirations behind War and Peace. Every day after Tolstoy was done writing, his wife would take his manuscript, go into her boudoir until late in the night, and copy out everything in handwriting that was legible enough for Tolstoy to read the next day, because his handwriting was so awful he couldn't even read it himself. And the copied manuscript would be waiting for him at his desk the next morning. And this went on for six years, seven drafts, um, and Tolstoy probably never would have finished War and Peace if it weren't for his wife. Most people know Tolstoy as a great fiction writer, but at the, in the second half of the 19th century, he was also known as a very influential spiritual leader and social activist. As a matter of fact, he inspired Mahatma Gandhi. When Gandhi was 24 years old, he was given a copy of Tolstoy's book, The Kingdom of God is Within You. And this book transformed Gandhi. It laid out a plan of nonviolent resistance to evil. And this book inspired Gandhi, and later on in life, he would say it was one of the most transformative books of his life. Tolstoy also inspired Martin Luther King, who was very influenced by his ideas of nonviolent resistance to evil. And Nelson Mandela, when he was in prison, was given a copy of War and Peace. And later he would say it was his favorite novel, and it taught him about humane and effective leadership, which is one of the themes in War and Peace that he would then bring to his own leadership uh, when he went back to South Africa as president. Tolstoy got his start in the 1850s when he was serving as a soldier in the Caucasus, which is the very region where the Olympics just took place, and also serving as a soldier in the Crimean War in the 1850s. In fact, Tolstoy was Russia's first war correspondent. Something else that happened in the Crimean War is that he also developed his unique brand of politics. He was a Russian patriot, but not a nationalist. He loved his people, but he hated the government. And in fact, he predicted that Russia would lose the Crimean War because the soldiers, he believed, were fighting for a government which was fundamentally corrupt and unjust. So Tolstoy actually had his hand in the Russian Revolution. Uh, Vladimir Lenin, who was the uh, original, uh, the Bolshevik leader of the Russian Revolution, called him, Tolstoy, the mirror of the Russian Revolution. And the reason is because on the one hand, Tolstoy was an aristocrat who was conservative, who, who um, admired the past, appreciated his own lineage, but he also was a reformer who thought the government was corrupt and evil, and he wrote a number of essays uh, on that topic later, later in life. When he was in his 60s, Tolstoy made the decision to give away the copyright on all of his works that he produced before 1881. And that included Anna Karenina and War and Peace. And the reason he did that is because he thought it was immoral for him and his family to profit from his own labors. He was an anti-capitalist at that stage in his, his life. It was the source of enormous tension in the Tolstoy family that would increase for many years to come. One of the reasons that we can relate to Tolstoy's characters today, that one of the reasons that they're so rich, is because he brought all of himself to his characters in War and Peace who are searching, who are making mistakes, who are making bad decisions, but that's life, that's real. That's what makes Tolstoy's writing so human. 